Hi, in this video, we will talk about some of the components that are part of the thermal management system and electric vehicles. So in electric vehicles, the temperature is very specific parameter that need to be controlled in a very well manner. When you talk about an IC engine, right? so even the temperature of the engine goes somewhere about 90 degrees Celsius, but the atmospheric temperature is still somewhere about 40-45. There's a huge delta difference that was more easier to reduce the temperature of the engine. But when you talk about electric vehicles, the optimal temperature for the battery is somewhere about 32 35 degrees Celsius. Though the best operating temperature for the cell can be about 45 degrees Celsius, but it is very critical for a thermal management system uh, to act upon to reduce the temperature if the temperature should up suddenly from 45 degrees Celsius and above. So it's very important that we retain the temperature of the cells in the battery pack within the defined temperature that's close about 20 degrees Celsius or about 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. To make this happen, so we have components like the one which we have here. It is the component of Tesla uh, that is basically the battery heating system. So why do we require a heating system? We require a heating system because the temperature of the battery can go below at uh, different uh, countries where the temperature falls even zero or minus zero degrees Celsius. When the temperature goes that less, the, the cells which are inside the battery pack also will disappear at the same temperature or even the lower temperature. That means the internal resistance of the cell is having a relationship with respect to the temperature of the cell. Hence, it is very important to make sure that you heat the cell to a defined temperature and then only you carry out film processes. To do not heat the cell, then typical processes such as lithium plating can happen. That can actually make your battery capacity to get faded because you're losing that active material. In such kind of a scenarios, we can see one of our typical uh, heating component that is currently present in the specific generation of Tesla. So you have a defined voltage architecture, so your H3 cables that comes and connects uh, here, uh, using it typically from the application like a PD, so you have uh, a H3 cable coming down, and it is directly coming and going into the the battery heating system. So here you have a coolant in, you have a coolant out. That means the coolant comes at a specific temperature by collecting the heat um, from the battery, and then it goes in. You have the electrical heating coils which are present inside the the casing here, which is basically like you know the the fully uh, I created about board. This is so we have a ceiling inside, the upper ceiling is it, so there is no fluid here to last. So the fluid comes in by carrying the, the temperature from the sense, and then it, it goes out by getting warmed up because of the heat coil that is present inside this component. Then we measure the temperature as well with this uh, kind of a connector here that goes in and connects inside the uh, temperature sensor. So, in this way, we have a system that is correctly present in the vehicles. They ensure that the temperature of the battery is kept at an optimal value. So as such, we see here, this is a heating system. If the temperature is lowered, then we heat the battery. In the similar way, we have the cooling system as well for the battery if we want to reduce the temperature for which is going higher to a, a optimal value as well. So that's in a brief that you know what, why we acquire a thermal management system in the electric vehicle and you see the components of the electric heater in, in electric vehicle applications as well. Thank you.